Hi guys, did you know you can turn Excel into a currency exchange tool with live updating exchange rates? Just choose any currency pair and Excel will pull live rates to convert your data from one to the other. And it's that simple. Let's find out how to do it. Before we start using the, conver the currency conversion tool in Excel, we need to know the currency codes for the specific currencies we are going to use. A currency code is simply a three-letter word, a three-letter code unique to each currency. For example, Euro, the code is EUR. Pound sterling is GBP, Great Britain Pound. United States Dollars is USD. Canadian Dollars, Japanese Yen. JPY, Swiss franc CHF and so on. To help you I've created a comprehensive list with all countries, their currencies and the respective currency code. I've tried to cover all available currencies but uh, if I missed one a country or a currency I do apologize. I've included a link to directly download this list. The link is in the description below and you can download it as it is in Excel for your reference. So now that we know our currency codes, we will try as an example, we will try and recreate this table uh, where we use a currency pair and we ask Excel to give us a conversion rate from one currency to the other. To do this, let's open up a new sheet in any cell. First thing we want to do is uh, type our currency pair from one pair from one currency to another currency as an example i will write euro let's make them capital euro to us dollars you can do this just by writing the currency code followed by the other immediately in this example euro us dollars or use a forward slash euro to us dollars or euro colon us dollars they are all the same they work exactly the same i usually like to use the forward slash so that's my first currency pair from euros to us dollars now we need to tell excel that this is actually a currency pair to do this select the cell where we've written our uh, currency pair go to data and select this icon under data types currencies convert to currency pairs click on it once and you will see that uh, Excel added uh, a bank icon at the front indicating that this is a currency pair now how do we get all the other information like the rate uh, last updated time and so on uh, once you select the currency pair you will see an icon a toolbox appear at the top right corner of this cell it says insert data click on it and it will give us all the available information we can add first off we can add the price the actual the price the actual rate click on it and it will show you 1.10 dollars that's the rate from con for converting euro to us dollars so 1 euro equals 1.1 dollars at this specific time if you want to add more information click on it you can have uh, the last uh, trading time this is the last uh, time that uh, this information was updated more information uh, you can have uh, the 50 week uh, low and then the 50 week high for this um, uh, cu uh, currency pair we can also add uh, change percentage there are many more information you can add for instance um, the name or the open price or the close price ticker symbol is basically the pair without the slash and uh, there are a few information we can have just uh, try them on try them all just to see what each one does also if you click on this uh, little bank icon where the currency pair is 
uh, Excel will give you a pop-up window with all the currency pair information, the rate, the last uh, trading time, uh, percentage change, 50-week uh, high and low, um, as many information you can uh, um, view from this uh, tool. Uh, note that all this information are live, are current and live and every couple of minutes Excel updates this information. The timestamp will change and if there's a change as well in the rate this will change as well. Uh, I'm not sure how many minutes it takes for Excel to auto update this information. It will also update once you open the file again for the first time it will um, uh, refresh all the values uh, by itself or if you want to manually update this information go to data and click on refresh and you see that the timestamp has changed the rate has remained the same if you want to add more uh, currency conversions uh, all you have to do is just type the a new currency pair uh, let's try US dollars to Great Britain pounds again we have to tell Excel that this is a currency pair and then either use again the insert data tool and uh, choose them one by one or you can just select the cells we've created at the top and just copy them below and all the information uh, will be updated to match this new currency pair. So let's try and recreate the table I showed you earlier. First thing we need to do is enter a couple of uh, conversion pairs Euro to US dollars, Euro to Great Britain pounds, uh, Euro to Indian rupee, Euro to Japanese yen, um, Euro to Aus Australian dollars. Let's uh, invert a couple of those. US dollars to Euro, US dollars to Great Britain pounds, um, US dollars to Indian rupee, um, Australian dollars to Canadian dollars, and so on. So now we can do this all together instead of uh, doing it one by one. Just select all the currency pairs we've created, data, and let Excel know that these are actually currency pairs. Let's add some titles at the top of our table, currency pair. Next I want to show the from currency, the base currency, the currency we want to convert to, the actual rate, and last upda updated. I'll give this a different color and change the font color to white. So we can either select everything and do them all together. Let's do it. I want the from currency. I want the to currency. We want the price, the rate and the last trading time, last updated time. If we want to add more, just continue writing under the currency pair uh, column. Um, a new pair would be Great Britain pounds to Canadian dollars. Uh, we can just copy and paste the whole row and there we have our information. Notice that the rate that is given to us has the actual correct currency symbol, a symbol that we are converting to. Again, these uh, rates and the information will be automatically updated every couple of minutes or we can manually update by um, uh, clicking on the refresh uh, button under the data menu, refresh. You see the time has changed and let's try and close our file, save it, close our file and reopen it in a couple of minutes just to see if uh, the, um, the information uh, get updated. A couple of minutes have passed, I'm reopening the Excel file and you see how the times and the rates have automatically 
been updated. Every time you open Excel, uh, because there are uh, currency exchange rates, Excel will also give you a disclaimer, a financial disclaimer. You can just go ahead and ignore it. Uh, what I wanted to do next is uh, just make a simple example to show you how we can use um, this uh, information, this uh, currency tool. Let's say I have a shop with a um, couple of products and I have all their prices in uh, Euro and I want to know the respective prices in US dollars, uh, pounds and uh, Japanese uh, yen. So I've created a small table where I have 10 products and their prices in Euro. Uh, what we want to know is uh, the same price in US dollars, in uh, Great Britain pounds and in Japanese uh, yen. So in this cell here we just need to enter a small uh, formula equal our actual price multiplied by, uh, by our conversion rate from Euro to US dollars. It's this one over here. I will also put a dollar sign just to lock uh, the row value. When we make copies of this formula, we always want to read from that cell. So this is our price in US dollars, 120.86. Just copy and paste below. And these are all our prices in uh, US dollars. Let's do the same for our pounds, our original price in Euro times Euro to pounds this and copy down and last we want it in uh, Japanese uh, yen again our price times a uh, euro in yen to yen is this right here and copy and paste so we can now have all our information these uh, conversions are live and once a currency rate uh, is changed our prices will be shown as changed as well. Let's do a refresh, see if anything changes. A few Japanese yen prices have changed. The US dollars and the Great Britain pounds have remained the same. As you can see, the possibilities are endless depending on your line of work or how you want to use if you're using conversion rates from one currency to the other. Uh, you can now stop entering manually entering uh, conversion rates and use this amazing Excel tool to have your uh, conversion rates live and updated automatically. Thank you for watching and remember to click on the subscribe button and turn on notifications. See you next time.